Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Trippy Commentaries. Wait, you can't hide under the bed? Where's the treasure? We know you know where it is. So today we're starting off at Catfish Jackson's. When you first come in here, there's going to be a disagreement between the father and his son. We managed to end the disagreement peacefully, but you can find a hidden treasure that starts off right here at Catfish Jackson's. What you're going to want to do is go into the side house or the shed, whatever it is. Have you seen the arrow made up from the three of clubs? Got the five of clubs, the three of clubs. It's pointing out into the distance. Now, we did investigate this location a few times. I couldn't really figure out exactly what it's pointing to. There's two other arrows that are a lot like it here in Red Dead Redemption 2, and I'm going to show you all three of the hidden locations that the arrows are pointing out. Do me a favor, hit the like button. It really helps out the episode. There is one more treasure. I know a lot of people might be saying, Trippy, you can find a treasure underneath the cabin. If you talk to the boy underneath the bed, he will tell you about it. But as you saw, the arrow is pointing in a completely opposite direction. So I'm going to show you the first two locations first to show you that the arrows are definitely pointing us towards pretty big secrets. And then we will show you the hidden treasure of Catfish Jackson. Here's the side chest. Again, they will tell you about this one, and it's pretty good. But the other treasure, which is just beyond Catfish Jackson's, is even better. Some aged pirate rum, a coin sack, and some chewing tobacco. That's all you need right there. Much love. I'm going to meet you at the second location before we come back and solve the treasure of Catfish Jackson. Let's get trippy. You can find another arrow just like the one I showed you in this cabin, or at least what used to be a cabin, not too far away from Dewberry Creek. So you're going to want to fall into the basement. This is actually one of the more mysterious locations in the entire game. I'm going to show you why in a moment. There's a few things you can collect. Open up the wardrobe. I'm sure we'll find some tonics, some valerian root. But if you find the arrow, which should be right here, you can see this one is made from matchsticks next to a cigarette card. So if you follow the arrow, it's going to take you to a hidden stash which is right here. So you really wouldn't notice it. You definitely need to find that arrow. So you go to a random wall to find 50 bucks. Not too bad, I wish I could find 50 bucks. One more thing I wanted to point out, and again, you can see how these arrows are so important. But if you look up, you can see random names etched into all the wood here in the basement. Makes you wonder who they are. Is it just different people who work for Rockstar? If you look at the dates, here you have Gus Pickerel, 1853. 1853 is a very long time ago. Let me know if you guys have any ideas who the names could be representing. Right here again, not too far away from Dewberry Creek, the old trail rise. So that's the second arrow. I'm going to show off one more before we head back to Catfish Jackson's. Everyone remembers Ford Wallace and Ford Mercer, but you cannot forget about Ford Brennan. So here at Ford Brennan, you'll find this cabin, and right when you come inside, here is another arrow, another one made from matchsticks. I just kicked it, but I'm sure you saw it. It's going to lead us back down into the basement, and this is another must-visit location in the game. Seems to be a Civil War relic. You can find the knife, a hat. I'm wondering if you can collect this stuff. And then head to that old timer, you know, the guy who thinks he's still in the Civil War. They might be connected. But either way, you saw the matchsticks. They make up the arrow. So that's two of them that lead to a secret location. It is no different at Catfish Jackson's as we have the arrow this time made from the three of clubs. Here's the hat hidden in the corner. Not bad, Arthur. Not bad. I'll meet you guys back at Catfish Jackson's. Okay, so we left the father tied up. I can't imagine they're going to be too happy to see us. Oh, here he is. Don't tell me he's passed out. No way. Okay, no harm done. We're just going to sneak by him. What's the son up to? All right, carry on. Oh, no. I didn't want to spook him. Okay, no worries, guys. You guys just go about your day. We're just going to steal your treasure. Here's the arrow. Now this is a fresh profile, so unfortunately you can't see some of the map, but it's pointing right out in this direction. It is right next to another cabin that I think is also associated with Catfish Jackson. Maybe his brother or his uncle or something. I'll show you that in a moment. 
but one more interesting thing happens. If you shoot the deck of cards, so again, you got the three of clubs, and then when you shoot the deck right next to it, all of a sudden, more cards will appear, of course. It seems to be the same cards every time. And then the arrow will actually disappear. In fact, I think the three of clubs shows up. It's right there. We will see where the arrow points to the true hidden treasure of Catfish Jackson. I can also show you there's a lodged boat in a tree right here, but there's really nothing to collect. I think there's a pirate rum, and that's about it. Definitely not a treasure, so you got to keep passing by. There's also a dead body you can find. It's a runaway. I did search him. You can find the letter to Uncle Lewis from Elijah. I suppose there is a chance they could be related to the Jacksons, but more likely you're going to want to keep passing by to get to the treasure. So do you think that Crawdad Willie is related to Catfish Jackson? They have to be. Is it his dad, Crawdad? Either way, I did search the cabin. Again, there's really nothing to find here. We actually need to find the Catfish treasure location, which is on an island nearby. Now this place is completely infested with gators, so we gotta be careful making it to it. But there, you're gonna find a treasure that you're probably gonna wanna get very early on as you head into Saint Denis. Don't mind us, we're just gonna cross. If the gator grabs us and does a death roll, they will pull a limb off, or at least I wish they could. So here we have what probably is some dead catfish. This is most likely the hideout of either the son or maybe even the father. I'm guessing because the son was abused by his father, he probably hid out right here. And this is the treasure of Catfish Jackson in the lockbox where you can find some revolver cartridges. Not bad, we'll take it. Potent Miracle Tonic, always useful. And more importantly, a large jewelry bag. Not a bad treasure. And considering it is the treasure of Catfish Jackson, it is definitely a hard secret to find. You have that one arrow. You have to cross all the way this way. But as you can see, the arrow is definitely pointing out this random treasure location. There's only one way we can finish out this video. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Do me a favor. Hit the like button. Don't forget to sub if you are new. We're going to have a live stream later on tonight. Hopefully I can see you guys there. Remember that the son of Catfish Jackson was Nate. Maybe we'll get more from Nasty Nate in the future. He kind of seems like an important character, and we found his hideout and his treasure. Stay tuned, and as always, make sure to stay trippy, my friends. Y'all come back now, you hear?